Okay, so today, what am I going to do? I got the stuff converted over to dynamics. So this is an excellent opportunity to start actually ripping these out of here and moving them elsewhere. Uh, at the moment, what I'm going to do is move these up to probably here. The, like the actual YAML generators and stuff. The import export stuff. Like this doesn't have to be down here anymore. These can actually either here like this or as a sub library. For the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shift them over to the IMAX and I'll maybe move them into a sub library later. So got those, we'll move these. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure if I can right now. I'm pretty sure something's about to come on, move. This is probably this is probably gonna fail somewhat. Bring those out. These will be export, so I need to include the export. Can be found not here, but not here either. Here's one. I can work with that one. Let's export that, 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 and that. Okay. Okay, change that up. Do we have, yeah, we do have log. Um, and then this is, does this, would, would this really, I don't think we would actually need that. Not right now, anyways. And similarly for this, Resource pools. I don't think I need that. Create info base. I don't actually need that. I can just say it's for declare it like that. Oh, and this will have to be for IMX that. Same thing here. I need some kind of log in, logger here. Maybe I need to increase the size of this stuff. No, that's too big.
at importers and it's log. Does this work? This isn't quite working yet. I need it's local. It's not general. It's Um, then I need to include that. Same thing here for replacement. This should be this. You should be perfectly fine with this. Why aren't you? Should be the YAML. Oh, uh, Clashing guards. We'll change that up so this could be a demo. Importer. Lovely. This is something that does in the twenty nine and twenty four. Don't need that. Passing pointers around for declared pointers, that's fine. Pro IMX distributed YAML. Okay. So I need to shift some things around. Target link library. I can't do that. Well, there. I need to bring it down to this. This needs to now know like. Oh. Mm. Actually, no. This doesn't even make sense. I'd have to put it under. It'd have to be like a sub-library right away. Uh, so libs. Let's include. These two move down here. They're going to be renamed a little bit. That, that. Bring it out to there.
realistically these would have move up to that as well. So it wouldn't be IMX, it'll be that instead. Pro IMX YAML private Or those three things. Okay, uh, we'll bring in the basics. Yeah, we'll da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. So it brings in for IMAX, for YAML, ECS, YAML. that one instead so it becomes for IMX YAML that YAML that Okay, uh, we're getting rid of these. And that one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We've got auxiliary targets. We're going to go add sub directly uh, libs yaml. Let's see what's going to fall apart here this will um hmm. root applications changing around it's going to be for i mixing for i mix yaml and then we need to so this isn't working why yes that's been changed Collision shape uh, that goes away. Don't need it. Uh, BK structure cleanup. Um, okay, don't think we need that either. Which would be true. Like realistically, this shouldn't have any implementation specific nonsense going on inside of it. Hmm. 
and declared that then fire IMX YAML. It's declared right here, uh, man. I didn't save it, did I? This is a problem. This is a real problem. I need, unfortunately for these resources, to delete these things. I need to know what they are in advance. Or at least I need to know Their base, maybe. And may need to rewrite this section just a little bit to make more sense for the moment. So let me add this. Um, don't be required for at the moment. I'll just kind of have a uh, just show resource. We'll just bring it in. Just so we know what it is, it's unfortunate. What's it called? What's it called? Create info base. No, it is. Okay. That is unfortunate. Okay, so there's still a connection here. Distributed generator. So I still kind of need to work on how I mean how to integrate it from an outside point or source without knowing it beforehand. That's still going to be a bit of a fun little thing to deal with. But for the moment, Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, we got a little item with this right here. Missing this V table for that. Oh no, I have to export the whole class again. Damn it. Oh, okay, okay. Export the class. Just the generator. Or do we need the whole? We may need the whole thing.
Okay, but they are out. The exporters. Real, realistically, the exporter. I really shouldn't touch it much more until I really figure out the last vestiges of how to get the importer properly. Because the exporter will basically be a near clone of the importer. So I really shouldn't. Yeah. Hmm, okay. But for the moment, at least that these are out in a separate area now. So I'll be able to keep uh, connections between this and other things lower for the moment. Okay, so function registrar right now, what I can probably do is move a not move the resource ones out from here up into the faux resource and the faux physics libraries or the yaml specific ones and then hmm. okay but what I'm going to actually, you know, <clears throat> well, I just flip flop in my mind a moment. I'm probably going to get rid of the designation of j distributed and concentrated YAML. I'll probably just leave with distributed and keep simplify only up to one type. So we just have the generator and the importer for YAML. That's it. Simplify, simplify, simplify. If I find the requirement for a different version of a YAML importer exporter, I can deal with it then. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. So let me just uh, go ahead and just find all distributed generators. Just anything with distributed like that. Find it. And just go with, uh, just replace with that. Yeah, simple. Bam. Uh, <laughs> Get rid of the photo distributed YAML and just say, hey, it's just, just faux YAML. Does it work? The answer is yes. Yes, it yes it does. Okay. Let's get this stuff in as it is. So, <clears throat> fine, let's see demo. Yes, let's close these. Yeah, the resource thing. It shrinks it all down quite a bit. Oh, oh, yeah, I gotta remove these. Uh, not here, but here and here. 
interesting. Uh, Vulcan has video encode stuff. Interesting. Uh, encode 264 capabilities. Okay, whatever. Okay, what's here? Everything's getting exported, as much as I don't really like it. It's kind of a requirement. Simplify, that's been moved, that's changed. Reduce the name length. Mm -hmm. That's just renamed and moved. That's been removed. This was removed and shifted up. So it's showing as a new file entirely. Okay. That's been changed up. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we shift that. <clears throat> so With There's no need to split. Such a modifier. Okay, so next part will be moving these out of here. So what I'm going to do is mm 
I'll do it on the small scale on the physics one first. So resource, collision shape. Like the thing is, I don't actually need to have these exported if... No, I don't, do I? I really don't. Hmm. I can just have them like down there. Okay, okay, okay. I can, yes. So I'm thinking of is which star? Registrar is basically like this one. Physics YAML. Registrar. This is part of it, which is our form of that. Here we've got the registrar. Space. Let's find the collision shape processor right there. And render state position 3D camera rigid body. So that was create processing. Where is the other one? In the other function. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, great. Um, so for this, we now need the import rigid body. Okay, we'll just kind of do one at a time right now then. We'll just simplify. So that's this one. 
Um, If that, then we have fail to add does this. So very similar for removal. This is very interesting. This. I'm sure I'm pulling that in, right? I'm pulling in IMX YAML. Yes, I am. This means it should be part. It should be here. I'm gonna wait for it to re-index itself. Uh, it's not doing anything because um, it's not part of compilation yet. that move this one as well um, move collision shape processing mm -hmm. there you are there you guys are looking a little bit thinner so where do I call this again? I not even call it like where here do we add the importer function restore okay so it's hmm
Hmm. Oh, here we go again. I need to export the whole thing. Make it work in a shared object. That's not good. Yeah. Need to return true first. Otherwise, it should work. The thing should start falling because we do have a collision shape to load. And everything's just, just fine, right? Just fine. Great. Okay. So the other part of this would be rigid body. that and we're going to have include because as we bring these guys in we no longer require it here and that one goes away as well so it should import the rigid body goes away. So that is a component. Okay, so this requires us to move this into here. Collision shape and rigid body just move into here. They are no longer exported. They don't need to be exported. to process that So maybe actually just shrink it down to that component rigid body. Just just that. Mm -hmm. 
these can be changed over so they just include which body which is just local Okay, this is looking for that. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, rigid body can stay where it is for the moment. Revert these two. That's unfortunate. I can't quite do that yet. Export is still here, however. Okay, well, we're, at least we got the resources out of the way there. So I should be able to do the same thing for the rest of the resources now. Ribs, YAML, include, and this. All right. <clears throat> yeah, moving the rest of these resources out. Next deal. So get close up physics. Uh, let's move it into here. Lib YAML. So all of this will basically be subsumed into the source. So we need the registrar first.
fail to add. True and false. Otherwise, this. Okay. I need to add it to here. So armature register. So registrar is just before shader. basically the rest of these. So let's go ahead and do it. Is that a resource? That's a component. Let's see, image, shader, vertex, material, mesh, and armature. Here we go. Bring these out. <clears throat> Move them here for a moment. Then we'll put them into their sub sources in a moment. But for the moment. Okay, this is where it gets a lot of fun, where we need to grab all these like that hmm. no type named iterator cat interesting First things first, he's missing that. Why? Because he's just not foe. I'm X foe. C D E F G H I. So here, just like that. Okay. Or generator? Um, generator. And then these are the functions. If you leave these. Okay, going back down to the application, way down here somewhere. Right about here. physics resource. I need to export. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Place it after struct to apply attributes to type declaration. Mm. Oh, it's a no export, right. Resources and components. So let's let's hear our components, which are local to the bring up application. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, let's try that. What does it work? Yes. Yes, it does work. And that does still leave the exports. But again, I should really settle down on import pattern. Because, again, export will be basically a copy or a clone. A reflection of it. Is this there's I gotta no because I can't work on export. I need to fix up the visibility issues. I'll come up come up with another way to inherit things without having to export everything. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's put this away. Let's put these guys away at least. Uh, okay. Move resource. Uh, for delegate libraries Okay, so that's those. All that's left here are these components. These need to be shifted around. Again, like I need to figure out exports. Like I also need. Okay, I need to figure out import. Uh, I need to refine it again. I need to refine the IMX import export. Again.
but a lot of this does stem from the actual resource itself like requiring a create info uh, info base exporting that that doesn't seem to do anything anyways right if I just do this yeah, the only issue we have is a f is a no resource export if I check on a compilation of something using, let's say, what am I compiling with here? I actually, what am I? It's Clang. Okay, good. If I check a GCC build, there are visibility issues all over the place. They're being ignored for a lot of items. Not great. Okay, that was GCC shared as well. <clears throat> so it's probably being a lot of things are being exported. Static is fine because yeah, they don't care about that. What about MSVC? MSVC shared. Ooh, there's a lot of messages on that. Um, Needs to have DL oh, DLL interface issues for them. Joy, oh joy. Exporting. grab a quick drink to figure out what I'm going to do for the visibility stuff because that's got to be really something I've got to hammer out and fix out now so cheers for the moment okay so dealing with the this is not really visibility issues and inheritance issues and determining different types now I know that there's like let me check type support type info there's supposed to be this type info which is go on, open up open up One, two, 200 percent okay <clears throat> implementation specific information so I can do maybe like a type index I don't know if this is at runtime or not uh, generated by the implementation so this that kind of implies that it's static I'm just wondering if I can use like a if I have like a struct that has this or the type index or maybe hash code what's this oh come on returns an unspecified value all type info objects referring to the same type their hash code is the same type info objects referring to different types may have the same hash code and hash code for the same type can change between invocations of the same program Hmm. This isn't a constant expression at all. That's not great. I'm 
But that is kind of what I'm thinking of. Is maybe if the first thing in here was, or at, rather, if I go back to for resource base, so the pool base or the loader base. If I go to this and then I have, you know what, the, it starts off with what? Include type info. Or type index. Okay, standard type info. So we'll just say like standard type info. Like S type, like it is in. So it's like a struct type or class type or something like that. Um, include type info. Oh. And then for these other, for the loader types, I can say, you know, you. Um, hmm. I'd actually need to have like whoops a default thing like that. I need to specify it. Source I'm sure loader. Equals, how do we do this? Type info. Um, it is returned by type ID operator. Okay. Type ID of pro R later. Something like that. Yes? No? Yes, it does. I'm pretty sure it. Okay, actually, it didn't even compile it right. Full armature loader is of this type, which is right here. So what do you mean? What? Oh, uh, this? No. Okay. Mm. Not copy constructible nor copy assignable. The relationship with type info object is maintained through a pointer. Therefore, type index is copy constructible and copy assignable. Okay. Okay. Uh, base type becomes type ID of that. And it's converted, I guess.
interesting. Let's do the same thing for the other. So we got armature loader, image loader. Material loader. Mesh loader. Vertex descriptor loader. Let's read this. Okay. So we go to the headers of these. Okay, first of all, we'll just grab it from here. Image loader. Down at the bottom or top. that work well it looks better hmm. this is now assuming we don't have one so I need another one which is blank Whoops, something like resource pools, resource loaders. Im okay, hold on. Implicitly, the leader default constructor of resource loaders. Uh, the collision shape. Setting of physics. There you are. Go down here, collision shape. Okay. Still functional? Still functional. Okay. Now, I am truly intrigued about what this looks like for simulation of the set. Right here. So let's say we're here. We've created the basics. We're here. And then we got this and resource loaders. We've got armature. So what's the base look like? S type is. This is a C++ thing. That's the name of it. Okay, cute. So I imagine this is basically kind of pointing at the V table or something similar. Okay. If this is the case, then I wouldn't actually need to rely on C++'s inheritance anymore. Since I could just use this to find to determine what the type is without having to 
mess around with the visibility of these uh, objects anymore. And I wouldn't even need a base class anymore. It would just be a standalone type. Okay, that's actually a good question. What does this look like on each run? So if I do 750, rerun. Is, this a, is it like a runtime value? It may be. Oh. 750. Okay, let's see if I can um, clear this out and just say, hey, I want to like this mm, resource. Seven fifty. Okay. Now I'm going to build it in a different mode, which is like what row with de debug info. No, of course that's gonna not so it's going to be a different location. Um, this must be a runtime. This actually probably would allow for if I'm loading from hmm. What if they're different in different libraries? That's something I'm going to have to be concerned about. I'm thinking, like, is there another one? I mean, there's type index. Type index is what I'm using right now. Contain some type of some types information generated by implementation. Okay. I mean, as long as the base type is exported, I mean, would it have to be exported that way? Okay, pa time to really question my sanity. So what I'm going to try to do is resource loaders. I'm going to rip these things apart. Resource loaders are no longer going to be this. They'll just be a void star like that. Okay, we're going to export them as that. And then what I'm going to do, where I use resource loaders too, is basically here pass them in resource definitions okay great uh this should be void star that's great not great but okay <laughs> you're supposed to override but you need them to be void star Can't do that. Out of line definition. Let's avoid star now. As we're passing in void those things, uh, the generator function that's going to take in is that instead. Now these need to be all fixed up for that. Wherever these functions are hiding. I can't do that. But what I can do is to see, hmm, if
Okay, I need to like standard type index s type. equals reinterpret cast to test struct pointer of that of iterator. Great, fantastic. If temp uh, s type equals type of type, sorry, type ID of this. Then you can interpret cast like that. So that's that there. Now let's do it for the other ones for resource. Hey, -o. all of you guys. Put in the wrong one. Makes it a lot more dangerous as well. So I have to be really sure if I want to go down this path, if this path will even work. But if it does work, then I don't need to go back onto inheritance. Which would probably work. Okay, this is um, starting from this because this is now supposed to be void star instead. This is way wrong. Didn't work at all. No siree. Okay, let's uh, go here. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. I know one of these. So this is what ptemp s type goes down to the full armature loader type okay that's great
Okay, that was very not great. The shader loader just didn't exist anymore. Why? Armature loader, okay. T temp as type goes for the V table for fov. You see, it's just pointing to the V table. <laughs> like, uh, that would probably mean I need to export it anyways, right? Shader loader. See, this is, this is the correct one for shader loader, okay. It didn't even work. It didn't even work. Why? Maybe this is a bit, it's just not going to work either. Uh, index. Does explosion shader loader. Okay. So index iterator equals that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the same, right? Thatcher didn't work. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, that didn't work because the base type is virtual. That means it has a V table pointer, which is, means that it's all being offset by 16 bytes or 8 bytes to start with. Okay. 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 So if I didn't have that, if I just didn't even, like this just goes away, poof, nobody cares. It's all gone. Um, same thing here. Or rather, loader base. Just have this one. Bam, amazing. Get rid of that. Do this. that for this for that put this down okay like does it rely on the V table if it's just uh, something like that then I might be able to get away with this might be able to Not it, no, nope, nope, and nope. Okay, then we gotta go to the source side. Change that over. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, 
Okay, here we go again. Uh, P temp, S type, target that. That is one hell of a, oh, right. There we go, now it makes sense. Um, oh crap. Okay. Again. Amateur loader. Type info for from that. And they're both maybe the same. This exclusion. Shader loader. Loader, material loader, they're matching. Okay. Okay, well, we say faulted anyway, so great. This is that. Why are we here? Oh, those. Did material loader just not happen? I mean, it has to exist. I know it does. We're right here. Okay, got it. We break out, we create the resource. That's great. And we return true. We delete the create info. Point being, it's now super broken. Because now I don't, like, the material just doesn't even exist. I try to find it, it's not there. Like, uh, for resources. Is it material? Pool base, materials. We have one material. Idea of five, what were we were looking for. Four. Uh, 
for render triangle. Okay. Material ID four. Okay. The other one is material ID five. So what happened to this material? Should I should come through material one at least twice. Not this one, the resource one. Okay, here we are. I'm already coming through it once. Why? I don't understand it. Resource number five. Okay. Hold on. Actually, fall back. Back, 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 back to the generator. Distributed YAML. Just sitting up here somewhere. Importer. Okay, we're here. So IT first, shader V1. Okay, it's great. Resource number 13. Uh, shader material number five. Get out of here. Six, 10, 16, two, 14, 15, 17. And then what happened to the other file? I'm what? Seven, thirteen, twelve, eight, five, six. Two, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. What? Close others. Okay. Uh, go back up to here. Ox. For material two, that's what I'm looking for. I want to open this file. So this is that makes sense. And the resource is what seven makes sense. D thirteen, D C. D, yes. C, okay. Eight, five, six, A, ten, two, E, F, eleven. Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing something. I must be missing something. Why is it not, why is it skipping over? So that's number seven. B, C, eight, five, six, A, ten, two, F. What happened to this file? Why is it not going to this file anymore? Am I crazy? There's nothing saying like uh, about an irregular file or that. It's not a directory.
Okay, hold on. It's just going as long as far as... Until there's an error. Then it's... Oh, because I don't have anywhere near the logging -ish capabilities that I really should. I'm not catching when a failure occurs. <sighs> From here, am I? Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got. Uh, pro log. Next YAML. If I actually try to go here, I'll find it right away, right? For what was it? Ah, uh, what? Did it just skip over the log? What? What? Uh, okay, hold on, let me restart this. Okay, I mean, th this is nice and all. The fact that we're sitting here. I mean, at least I have... Okay, fine, whatever. This path, mesh frag shader, this broke. Why did this break? Jeez, yeah, okay, hold on. Whoops. Am I cheating on braces? Index ID, could not find required note of the parse for ID. For what? Okay, that would have been for the test file. Give it to the test file. Till the do create processing for. 11 test collision shape. Okay, so it's just something to do with specifically with the physics one. Collision shape loader, registrar, um, interpret cast that, 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 and that.
Okay, Q. Uh, index excursion shape loader. Okay. Wait a second. This is because I didn't change it to get rid of that. Fun. How fun. As type equals that. That's why. Oh, my bad. That's what happens when you uh, stop using C++ the inbuilt inheritance mechanism. You start having to do things yourself. Close that up. Go on through. We're good. Okay. So this is workable, but now the question becomes, like the entire reason I did this in the first place was to change how I can, like how I would have to export visibility for a lot of things. Now the question is, can I do it? Can I like give her to the, give her these things, all of these, just poof, kill them all. They're all gone. Amazing. Bam. And then I just change it up to get rid of it from there. It's just that and that and that and that and that and that and that. And that. There. Like, do I have to export the actual struct type itself? I mean, I shouldn't have to. Not really. But. Now this is fun. This is some fun stuff. Solving L problems. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And on physics, where are you? Did I do no exports on these things? I did indeed. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Okay. Whoops. Now try. Okay. Now I'm going, this is on shared Clang. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it in a new branch. MX visibility. I'm going to commit this. I'm going to run it through the CI to see like on Windows and Mac and all that, how the, this kind of works. If this is even acceptable. means I'm going to grab a drink while this fires off the next 10 minutes. So cheers, BRB. Okay, that's actually pretty okay. Except I got a little bit of a problem with uh, MSVC shared builds, where it's going on about uh, the, specifically in the mesh loader, Member of DLL interface class may not be declared with DLL interface. So I'm just going to presume that it's because I'm, I've exported the class. I can't re-export the functions on that class. And that's the problem here. Otherwise, the rest of it actually worked perfectly fine. 
Like, uh, there's a lot less complaining about uh, visibility issues. A lot less. PCC shared. Ooh. Um. Okay. Collision shit. Armature loader exporting of that. Really? You can't. <sighs> I mean, there's a lot less visibility issues, but this is still. Like. Okay, one thing at a time. First of all, this. Fix GML import generator. The function is it's causing issues. Double export. So I'll put that there. Build. Go back to IMX, get merge, IMX visibility. Back these out a little bit. Base. Interactive, a couple, please. Put that there. Okay. And back up one. So this means, yeah, this is to change the visit to Void Star. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, I can give it to the loader base. I don't need this anymore. This is just not worth it at all. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Loader base goes away. I can't... Okay, yeah, this is... Okay, we got rid of the that header, but replace it with type index. Um, yeah, right. that one is separated. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. We got those. Air Force still builds, runs. Good. on how to deal with this I mean, at least MSVC isn't complaining about, like, accidentally exporting, like, these guys. But now I've got, like, more overhead to deal with on my, on this end. And exporting this isn't really a pleasant experience. This is closer to what I'm looking for. Getting rid of the inheritance, but... Still not great. Still not really what I'm looking for. Closer, but not quite there yet. Okay, I'll put this up. Well, I'll, I'll put that up, and then I'll put this up uh, in a visibility in the Amex visibility. Test that. And then, then, I'm not sure, maybe convert others or think about, like, all I can really think of that is devolving this into more like a C-like uh, thing where, like, instead of, I'll return, like, a struct, a C-struct that'll actually have, like, pointers to the functions, the call for, once you create a loader or something. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just not sure. Hmm. Okay, drink time. Hmm. That's not entirely the best. I got a different issue now with uh, MSVC shared S type illegal storage class. It looks like Devo interface. Mm. Well, let's get this up here. Uh, yeah, we're, going, we're getting issues with illegal storage class for the S type. Illegal storage class. Like, what is illegal about this? Do I just have to be like this? Hmm. So yeah, I'm not really I'm really like what else do we have? There's other issues. Uh material loader looks like the double export issue again. And then down mesh loader. And then presumably the other ones, and it's just a failed at that point. Okay, so <clears throat> let's set this back. 
I'm on IMAX Viz, so let's go to the resource types and uh... wait. Hold on. Double export material. Okay, material loader. Let's go to have a look at material loader. Uh, F A T. Okay. F-18C, yeah, this is the same thing. So what are you going on about? Constructor member of may not be declared with DLL interface. Material loader 42. Constructor. Whoa, this... What? F-18C, yeah. Look, we've got the illegal storage classes, that's fine. Material loader. Oh, I'm on the wrong one, that's why. Okay, 42. That. Constructor. This is, oh, this is also an, ex this is actually an exported class. My bad. Don't need to export. Mesh loader, okay. Diameter loader, okay. Material loader, mesh loader. Shader loader, vertex descriptor. Okay, that these two are cleared up now. Do I then not have to export this? Is that is that what's going on? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, well, that'll solve the double exports, but still, I got the illegal storage class. Okay, this is just, what is this? I have just never run upon this one before. It could be with more than one storage class specified for an identifier or where the definition is compatible. For example, static or extern and correct the declaration. What? It's not an extern though. It's part of the object. Is it just not exportable? Is that the issue? But well, then wouldn't that just have a problem with uh, being able to have a look at these things perhaps? Or maybe not. Okay, let's see if this exports for S type. Let's see how this comes out, shall we? Okay, so this is okay on uh, MSVC shared finally. So I got it working across all the platforms. I don't have to export the V table anymore or type info. Although technically I need the type info for on, on the um, source side when setting S type.
So this could work. These, let me uh, undo them. That was the collision stuff. And then the rest of this. Exports for S type, okay. And undo. Visibility stuff. Okay, so this is all the visibility stuff. Put this back in. Okay, that's great. So this can work. This gets rid of the inheritance. I mean, I don't like the fact that this is public. Or rather, I don't like the fact that... Like, this is a very weird mixing of... seen C++ blended styles which makes it just horrible overall hmm I'm not entirely sure if I want to go through with it I mean this would I would be able to do the same thing on resource pools and probably component pools as well Moving a lot of things from hmm. okay. Let's put this in, park this in a side branch for the moment. Put it in there, great. So just leave it there, don't even push it yet. We were back to this stage. What I'm thinking of now I mean, I know that can work. I mean, it would require me to kind of rework. I, I got to rework the resources anyways. Uh, loading mechanism, especially for that physics loading bug. And another thing I have to really do is I need to rip apart uh, my terrible early decision where when we are, come on, can I find an example here? Registrar. When I'm do when I'm adding a new resource, I'm giving both the loader and the resource, even though I don't necessarily which loader is going to be required right now. I mean, presumably, like right now, there's one for the collision shape. But if there's like collision shape V1 and collision shape V2 and collision shape V3, they may <clears throat> they may not uh, all be using the same loader. And I don't know ahead of time which one to use. So realistically, what like the uh, collision shape should be, it should it, sh it, sh it should be something like this, and that's it, without the loader. And then I'm going to have to figure out a way from the collision shape itself, or the resource type itself, how like when I'm trying to increment the use, so I want to try to load it. I got to go to request load, which is here right now. Right now, this is directly into the loader. I would need to. I would have to do something different. I'd have to like give each I'm really because I can't do loaders because I don't know what loader I need in the 
first place. But I also really can't do pointers because if I'm copying one of these into another simulation set, obviously the loader or whatever is no longer valid. That's just going to be no good. And that's something I'm going to have to do on the, on the pool. Like the when copying items from a pool or something like that, I'm going to have to... Actually, I will, I'll just have to be make them non-copyable, really. And non-movable. It have to be like an external function that takes in the resource and the pointer to the new simulation set. So I may just hmm. I might have to change it to point to something like the simulation set and then because only the simulation the simulation set is going to be reduced to effectively lists of pointers of the loaders the pools the maps the name maps I mean ultimately what is it it's just going to basically be this yeah, the entire simulation set will be encompassed in this. this. These will be generic types. Generic set, uh, or uh, list of pointers. To unknown generic types that you'll have to figure out what, you have to iterate through, figure out which ones you're paying attention to. Unless, okay, what about, the pool? If I go back to the pool, can the pool be able to have a pointer to associated loaders? Or when you register a loader, wait, no, maybe, okay, if I'm using Lambda functions, then I because hmm. what I'm doing right now is I already have lambda function so I can actually make a f make it fairly easy to okay can I pass a lambda function to a C function pointer? That's an interesting one. Probably not, no. No, it would have to be like a standard function type. Hmm. But that would be doable. Yeah, I know I'm not really doing anything on the screen. I'm just really thinking. Okay, you know what? This is long enough. I've done enough garbage today. I'll leave it there tonight. And I'll think on this overnight. Come back tomorrow with something. And start work on 
something. At least I have the visibility issue maybe sorted out, depending on if I want to carry on down that path of using the type index or a similar kind of type ID mechanism, like S structure types, rather than rely on C++'s inheritance. So we got that, maybe. Cheers for now.